Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I want to highlight the launch of a new exciting electric skateboard with some of the craziest top-of-the-line specifications that I've ever seen. In short, I think this is the first board that I would consider to be a Lacroix Lone Star Super Sport competitor, but not as a boutique brand. It is a mass production board that features 5,500 watts, 7080 custom brushless sensor motors. These motors are absolutely massive and should perform like an absolute beast, but is it a contender to beat the Lone Star Super Sport. Let's take a deep dive. Let's start with some highlights. At first, I was wondering if this new boutique brand is based in North America. I was looking at the About Us and Contact Us page. There is no phone number, no location, and no emails. There really isn't anything about where this company is located. But it wasn't long until I figured it out. Look at this. What is an AI self-study? This is a classic vocabulary mistake made by a Chinese person speaking English. Being Chinese myself, I know a lot of entry-level English speakers in China have trouble knowing when to use the word learn and when to use the word study. I almost laughed out loud when I saw this. Yep, this is a new Chinese company. They're not even confident enough to list phone numbers, emails, or addresses. These are major red flags in my book as you cannot trace back to anyone responsible for your board when you need them. I'm not against Chinese companies. I think there are some really great ones out there making high quality skateboards with great track records like Meepo and WowGo. But as a company, if you hide all of your contact information and also no major eSkate reviewers has reviewed your board yet, that's a major red flag for me. The price of this board is $4,000 versus the Lacroix Lone Star Super Sport, which is $4,400. The Lawrence Major looks nice, but is it as nice as the Lacroix Lone Star Super Sport? I mean, if you're going to price yourself next to the king, I'm going to compare you to the king. First round are the motors. It uses 7 to 80 motors versus 60 to 89 motors on the Lacroix Lone Star Super Sport. This means it's bigger and probably more powerful. But is it? When looking at motor power output, you also have to look at the ESC's power output. The Lawrence Major is using a 14S 6P battery configuration at 58.8 volts, while the Lone Star Super Sport is powered at 18S8P using 84 volts with its Stormcore ESC. It's simple math right here. The Lawrence Major is almost the same price as the Lone Star Super Sport, but does not have nearly as much battery output and ESC output. The Lacroix Lone Star Super Sport can easily go past 50 miles per hour with the right gearings, while this is only limited to 40 miles per hour. The battery capacity is 1500 watt hours for the Lawrence and 2582 watt hours for the Lacroix Lone Star Super Sport. The Lone Star Super Sport has 72% more battery than the Lawrence Major. At this point, I'm just going to stop comparing. I was really excited for this board, but after reading its specs for $4,000, I think they priced it way too high. $3,000 seems like a more fair price to ask. But to be fair, they do have cool looking battery indicators that looks like the Iron Man's arc reactor on the board. And it also comes with gear drives and aluminum wheels, which the LaCroix does not. All of these cool things like the arc reactors, the gear drive, and the aluminum wheels adds into the cost of the Lawrence board. And these are accessories and things that do not add up to improving the actual core components that make up the true heart of an electric skateboard. And what's up with the max load of only 265 pounds? Why does such a powerful board have such low self-esteem? I mean, low max load. Anyways, I'm gonna stop ripping on this brand. I just got more and more upset reading the specs and comparing them to the price that they're asking for. At $4,000, go get yourself a Lacroix Lone Star Super Sport. Am I wrong? here with my assessment let me know down below and be sure to comment down below and subscribe for a chance to win an electric skateboard additional information on the free electric skateboard coming up now to qualify for the raffle you need to be a subscriber and make a comment on this video i will use unique user comments as entries that means if you make multiple comments it will not count I will only be able to ship within the United States and I will not cover the shipping. However, Facebook Marketplace allows me to generate shipping labels for dirt cheap around $45 and I will contact the winner 
on the details around shipping. I think it's a fair price to pay for an almost new electric skateboard. Oh yeah, the most important thing, the skateboard that I'm raffling out is the Uditor W3 with a 328 watt hour battery. So have fun, good luck, um, thank you all. And thank you, please remember to like and subscribe as the AI overlords at YouTube demands it. Thank you so much and uh, have a good day.